both Carmen and Nandy went live this morning letting us know that they were at the courthouse for the warrant hearing. And Nandy reports that they actually granted the warrants and that Chef Carmen has what she determines as a pretty steep bond. Check it out. Just got off tube and um, come over here and give you guys um, the update as well. As you all know, I had court today um, with Carmen for the warrant hearing. Um, and thankfully, the judge absolutely did grant um, the bond um, or grant the warrant uh, for Carmen to be arrested today and, um, and have to turn herself in. Her bond is $10,000. Um, I did ask for an all cash bond as well. So it's $10,000 and um, 20000 if she doesn't turn herself in by tonight. The judge was very disturbed by um, Carmen's, um, by that video of her saying that she was going to blow my edges back. And it was even more disturbing watching her sit in court, try to lie her way out of what the fuck that meant. But fortunately, we had a very black judge on the bench who knows black slang, vernacular, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And wasn't falling for the book that she was trying to say when her attorney was like, well, you didn't mean to say that you were going to harm Ms. Williams in any way. Or did you mean to say that? Or do you do you think that you're harder? Or do, 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 you know, all that bull. The judge wasn't falling for the banana in the tailpipe. OK, she knew what that shit meant. And the uh, uh, Carmen and her attorney told me something. So the judge, uh, the her attorney was like, well, what did you mean when you said that? Er, I just meant, you know edges you know some people got edges some people don't i meant to say that you know she don't do her edges or some shit like that the judge was like while they were talking she you could see she was visibly disturbed by that lie you were lying ass. she's a lying ass bitch and um and if she ain't tell no other lie telling that one that's the one that got your ass on the hook because the judge was like nah i'm not falling for that like i'm a she said the judge said i'm a very black woman and i know street slang and black slang and you know etc so sir you might not know she told her white attorney but i know um she said that's absolutely a direct threat against miss williams life um and it's a very serious one and she showed up because i showed them the video i got all the videos and she showed up at miss williams hotel at the time um to make good on her threats because she showed up like she said she was okay scary. we're gonna see you next week girl we're gonna blow the edges back that's serious and anybody with common fucking sense, whoever's sticking up for her, you must don't have common fucking sense. I'm not talking about the things that I've said about her or she said about me because there's certainly been enough of that on both sides. I don't care about any of that. I'm talking about the serious nature of threatening somebody's mother life on a live. She ain't paying that lawyer and he better if he ain't get it, he won't. So there is a warrant out for her arrest. She had to turn herself in. She, um, you know, s snaked and slinked her way past me when I was setting up just now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She heard me. She knows I'm live. I'm going live and I'm exposing. Get your way down into the welfare. Turn yourself in. Pay that 10 grand. It's 10 grand today. And I'm so grateful to the judge for seeing through the book. The judge, like, I can't tell y'all what to post on your pages and what to, but when you start threatening somebody's life, that's something different. I'm so glad that that heard that. Y'all want people not to talk about the things that you're doing? Don't do them. She had somebody look or uh, find my trailer to go probably go vandalize it. Just making up lies. First of all, that picture fell into my lap. I had nobody looking for Pete. Someone found it and they sent it to the queen, of course. And I showed it online. I'm, I, that's my job. I'm a news reporter. <laughs> so, yeah, she, there is a warrant out for her arrest. 10 grand is the bond huh and the judge made it clear that she will be referring it to the prosecutor's office um it is a felony and a serious one for them to pick it up and to go ahead and, and prosecute and um etc i am not even 100 percent. y'all know i was in the hospital for five days five okay and before those five i was out of it for three days i was completely Listen, when I went to the hospital, the doctor said, Miss Williams, I'm very concerned about you. Like, he literally knelt by my bedside. Like, I was so out of it. I couldn't keep anything on my stomach. Um, it was it was, it was, was a big, big deal. The Cherry Pit crew was with me the whole time. I was there for five days. So, I resent a... 
on say that I'm trying to be slick for you. Nobody's trying to be slick. I was sick. Unlike that booey over there faking like she's sick. I legit was sick. I wasn't trying to get out of a court date. And even saying something like that further shows the shit that they be pumping out on that page and in the group and on the team. But y'all want to talk about other people saying things and, and putting out things that's not true. You mothers made up a whole lie about why I didn't go to court last week. You don't, I could have been dead. My mama could have died. But the narrative that you pushed was that I was trying to um, hustle the system, that I was lying, trying to be slick so I, they could hear my case first. Yeah, and we established in court also that I didn't lie on a warrant application. The judge told me to scratch that box out because the warrant application that I put against her was totally separate from the other case she had against me, dummies.